Dear friends in Christ, today is the second day in the holy season of Lent. This season invites us to ponder on the greatest form of love and the way this love is being expressed by Jesus the Savior. 40 days of Lent is a journey from slavery to freedom, from the slavery of sin to the freedom found in reconciliation with God. Christianity uses 40 to designate important time periods. Before his temptation, Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights in the Judean desert. 40 days was the period from the resurrection of Jesus to the ascension of Jesus. During Moses' life, he lived 40 years in Egypt and 40 years in the desert before God selected him to lead his people out of slavery. Moses was also on Mount Sinai for 40 days and nights on two separate occasions, receiving God's laws. Mentioning 446 times in scripture, the number 40 generally symbolizes a period of time. testing trial or probation dear friends the journey of lent is an exodus these 40 days correspond to the 40 years that god's people trekked through the desert to return to their homeland a difficult and challenging journey of israelites the israelites had many temptations during the 40 years they wandered in the desert and so it is with us today Our journey back to God is blocked by our unhealthy attachments, held back by the seductive snares of our sins, by the false security of money and appearances, by the paralysis of our discontents, says Pope Francis. To embark on this journey, we have to unmask these illusions. St. Paul in 2 Corinthians says, Be reconciled to God because of Our journey is not based on our own strength. What enables us to return to him is not our own ability or merit, but his offer of grace, friends. The beginning of the return to God is the recognition of our need for him, for his mercy and the need for his grace. This recognition is a path of humility and obedience. A heartfelt conversion with the deeds and practices is the need of everyone. This is the ointment that cures, that unites, that mends and promotes life and love. God's message through prophet Joel, return to me with all your heart, continues to echo in our minds even today. And how many times amidst our hurrying lives, we have bypassed the call of God. the call of the needy how many times we have prioritized the short lived life to the everlasting invitation of god to a fullness of life how often we find ourselves not having enough time to listen to the voice of the savior urging us to leave these concerns and go back to him like the israelites each of us also own attitudes that are bitter broken grumbling stiff necked refusing to heed to the divine instructions creating our own golden calf to worship god still appeals to our hearts that in this life we will always have things to do and an excuse to offer but now is the time to return to god lent more than the little sacrifice we make is about realizing where our hearts are oriented our turning back in a binding relationship with god this 40 days of lent is a journey that involves our whole life our entire being therefore let us get into the attitude of prophet daniel who says so i turned to the lord god and pleaded with him in prayer and petition in fasting and in sigh clothes and ashes and make his disposition ours may jesus the savior who is the way the truth and life lead us to his ways amen